Okay, now we're talking about the transformer voltage regulation. Transformer voltage regulation. When transformer is supplying the load, there will be the losses in the transformer. So because of the losses, transformer terminal voltage will be different from the different between the no load and full load. So transformer got the losses. Losses got the two losses, iron loss and copper loss. Two losses. Therefore, the input power equal to output power plus losses. And efficiency equal to output power divided by input power. And percentage efficiency is a year to multiply with 100. This is the way we calculate the transformer losses and efficiency. And also we can calculate transformer voltage regulation. Equation is no low voltage minus full low voltage. Regulation the difference between the no load voltage and full load voltage divided by full load voltage. And multiply 100. This is an equation to calculate transformer efficiency and voltage regulation. So we saw the one problem. Calculate the efficiency of 500 kV distribution transformer. Operate at the full load with power for the 0 0.9 again, so the losses are 15 kilowatt. So in this case, uh, we have to calculate efficiency. So there will be the 500 uh, kVA distribution transformer. So there will be output power equal to 500 multiply 0 0.9. And KVA multiply 0 0.9 is a power factor. So power, this is the 450 kilowatt. And input power. Input power is equal to the output plus losses. So output is 450 plus losses are 15. So you got a 465. Then we can find out the efficiency. So the 450 divided by 465. So you got 96.7 percent. So the efficiency. So the output divided by input into 100. So the output is a full. 50 input is 465 into 100. Therefore, we got the efficiency 96.8%. So, this is the way we calculate the efficiency. The next one, we need to calculate transformer test set over circuit test iron loss at 3700 watt, short circuit test copper loss is at 2100 watt. Then we have to find all the transformer losses. So the day transformer loss is iron loss equal to 3700 watt copper loss. 
equal to the 21001. So the total loss. So we have to add this to 3700 plus 2100. So you got a 58001. This is total loss. This program. A 10 MVA transformer operate at the power for the power 85. Iron losses are 120 kilowatt, copper losses are 95 kilowatt. Then we have to calculate the efficiency. Then we calculate the output power. So output power is a KVA multiply power factor. So the dead transformer KVA is given. Here is a 10 k 10 MVA, 10 MVA, so the 10,000 KVA. So that we can calculate output power multiplied power factor. Multiplied power factor is 0 by 85. So the 8500 KVA. Output power 8500 KVA. Then we also need to calculate able power. Input power is iron loss and copper loss we add. So the total losses. Total losses are the iron loss 120 kilowatt. Copper loss is a 95 kilowatt. 215 kilowatt. So this one is a KBS 800 kilowatt. So the input power equal to 8500 plus 215. So the 8715 kilowatt. Then we can calculate percentage efficiency. Output drive by input multiply 100. So output is 8. 1500 input 8715 multiplied by 100. So the 8500 divided by 8715. So this is a 97.5 power percentage. So this is the way we calculate the transformer efficiency. The next one, 33 kilowatt slash 11 kb rebate transformer. Rating 500 kba. For rate regulated 6% at power for that point 8. You have to find out the secondary line for rate phase for rate at the full of point 8 power for that. It's a no low voltage 11 kb. Therefore, the rate transformer is given 33 kb slash 11 kb. This is a rating. So no low voltage 11 kb. So the we need to calculate this uh, output power. So there is a 500 kba. Power for that is we operate at this 48 power for that. So that we can calculate output power. 500 multiplied 0 by a. So you got the 400 kilowatt. This is all the transformer. Now this is uh, we also need to calculate secondary line and phase voltage. In this case, our uh, percentage regulation six percent. Percentage regulation six percent. So this percentage regulation is a uh, V no low by the V full low divided by V full low into hundred. So this equation now uh, we have to calculate. So that there will be the regulation uh, how much you got six percent. So 6 equal to, we can calculate the no load line voltage is 11 kV minus V full load unknown and also V full load into 100. So that will be the 6 VFL equal to 1100 minus 100 VFL. So this one go to this side. So the 100 plus 6 VFL equal to 1100. 
We ever get me calculated 1100 by 106. So that will be the divided by 1100 by 106. So 10370 zero 10370 zero 0 So 11 give you So that will be that uh, ten point three seven kilo volt, and also the phase voltage ten point three seven divided by one point seven three two one. So this is five point nine nine kilo volt. This is the way we calculate that problem. The another thing is that we can also calculate the short circuit current. ISA. ISA is equal to the full of current divided by percentage in billion into 100. This is a short circuit current equation. We need to find out the full of current, then divide by percentage in billion, and then you multiply with 100, then we can calculate the short circuit current. So based on this one now, we solve that this problem. A333 kV slash 11 kV 3 bit transformer. Rating 500 kV A. Percentage A bit at 4 by 5 percent. We need to determine the secondary short circuit current. In this case, I this transformer by 33 kV slash 11 kV 3 phase transformer. So this 3 phase transformer. So this 3 phase transformer got the Percentage in bit at 4 by 5 percent. Percentage is equal to 4 by 5 percentage. So we need to find out the short circuit current. So the, here is a 500 kV. So firstly, we have to find out the full of current. 2, 3, E, L, I, L equal to kVA into 1000. So this is the 1 by 7, 3, 2, 1. I, A is 11. Multiply I L need to determine this is 500 into 10 power 3. So this is 11 also 10 power 3. So therefore that we calculate it. I L equal to 500 into 10 power 3 divided by 1.73 to 1 multiply 11 into 10 power 3. So this one will be the 500 divided by 500 divided by 1.73 to 1 divided by 11. So we got 26.24 MVR. This is for the current. Then we can calculate a short circuit current, ISH. IFL into percentage Z into 100. Full of current 26.24 multiplied by 100. And percentage Z is you got a 4 by 5. So that we start calculate. So this is it. 583 MVR. The transfer will take the full of current 583 MVR. Another thing is that we can see the copper loss ratio. Ratio of the copper law. Iron law is ever constant. Copper loss at any low. So this way that we can calculate low ratio. Square multiply full of copper loss. Copper loss at any low can be calculated. Low ratio square multiply full of copper loss. This is the way we calculate the uh, copper loss at any low. So in this case, uh, we have to calculate this problem. 
Tasabai given a fifty gave you a crossover. Fifty gave you a crossover. Full of copper loss, four hundred sixty watt, iron loss, two hundred twenty watt. So that full of copper loss is WCFL. Four hundred sixty watt, iron loss, WI. 220 watt. This is given. Now that this transformer is, we operate at the 25 kVA. 25 kVA. This is a half load. Half load. So there will be the WI is the same. 220 kilowatt. But for the WC at the half load. Equal to 105. 25 kVA divided by food. 50 square multiply 460. So the 14 multiply 460. So you got the 115. What? This is the way we calculate the problem. The next one will be there. We can also find the order efficiency. In this case, uh, Normally, the efficiency can be calculated output power divided by input power. But for the order efficiency, we have to calculate all these are energy output divided by all this energy input. So this is all the efficiency is a all the efficiency. Percentage equal to all the energy output. By the way, all the energy input. Into multiplying 100. This is the way we calculate the all the efficiency. All the energy output divided by all the energy input. Multiplying with 100. So that we need to calculate this, uh, this transformer here. We have to calculate all the efficiency of 750 kVA, uh, 11 kV set 450 distribution transformer, following energy level. So that firstly, uh, 8 hours delivery 800 kilowatt, inputs at 810 kilowatt, and also 2 hours on no load, taking 20 kilowatt, 6 hours delivery in the uh, 350 kilowatt input is a 370 kilowatt and seven eight hour delivery is 300 kilowatt input is a 75 kilowatt so this is the uh, given therefore then we have to calculate eight hour delivery 800 kilowatt input 800 kilowatt so that will be eight hour output is 800 kilowatt so in this case input input is a 810 kilowatt. So 8 hour also multiply 810. 2 hour no load taking 20 kilowatt. So this is a no load, so only output 0. Input is a 20 multiply 2 hour. 6 hour delivery 350 kilowatt, input 370 kilowatt. So then 6 hour multiply 350, input is a 370. 8 hour delivery in 600 kilowatt input, 715 kilowatt. 8 hour multiply 600 input, 715 and multiply 100. This is the way we calculate the all the efficiency. So all the efficiency, you know, there will be the uh, 400 plus say multiply 350 plus 8 multiply 600. So this is 13300. This is output input is 8 multiplied 810 plus 40 plus 6 multiplied 370 plus 8 multiplied 615. That will be 13660 multiplied 100. 13300 divided by 13660. So you got 97 by 36 this is the way we calculate the all the efficiency.
Okay, the next one we use a scar data and data scar transformer. So this one we draw the three single fit, three single fit, five to one ratio transformer head right. Primary connector is scar to 450 volt supply. Then I connect the secondary supply, these are six ohm star connected element. So that will be the input here, the star. Input star to 450 volt supply. Secondary connected in delta. Connected to six ohm star connected element. So this ratio is a five to one. Five to one ratio transformer. So firstly we have to calculate primary voltage. The primary voltage is free voltage. So line voltage is a 4 1 volt, so a free voltage can be calculated. 3 1 phase equal to 4 1 5 divided by root 3 because scar code is 240 volt. So this is a free voltage is a 240 volt. Secondary line voltage, second dams are their ratio. So secondary voltage V2 phase can be calculated. So the 5 to 1 ratio so the V2 is a 240 by 5, so you got a 48 volt. And secondary line voltage, V2 line is also 48 volt. And low current need to be calculated. So the V2 line is a 48 volt. So then we calculate the V2 phase. So 48 divided by root 3. 48 by root 3, we calculate. That will be 27 by 7 volt. Then we calculate the current. In this case, I low equal to fifth current is at 27 by 7. Fifth will be 27 by 7. Resistance is 6 ohm. Divided by 6, you got the 4 by 6 1 MBR. 4 by 6 2 MBR. And secondly, fifth current. So this is a transformer secondary phase current. So this current is a 4 by 6 two. That are connection. So the I2 phase can be calculated. 4 by 6 two divided by root 3. Because of the data connection, phase for current is uh, line current divided by root 3. So 4 by 6 two divided by 1 by 7, 3, 2, 1. So we got 2 by 6, 7 MBR. Phase current is 2 by 6 7. Yeah. Then we can find out the primary line current. So the primary line current is a have to be the five time loss. So the uh, I1 phase equal to 2 by 6 7 divided by 5. So 0 by 5 3 MBR. So the I1 line is also the same because star code is phase and line current are the same. 0 by 5 3 MBR as well. So this is the way we calculate it. The next one. Three phase 450 volt inductive load to be supplied by three phase data star step down transformer. So this primary one is a data. Secondary one is connected in star. It's connected to the three phase inductive load.
So there will be the primary 4150. 3500 is that the secondary, the 4150. And primary live voltage is 1000 volt. Okay, so we have to find out the ratio. So we can not, no. <coughs> so the ratio can be calculated. So this is line body to pay for the one thousand. Divided by Okay, now that we when you make the ratio, primaries are this one with the phase voltage. Because of the uh we had to only compare the YD to YD. So this are primary phase voltage, V1 phase, need to be ratio with the V2 phase. You cannot make the comparison between live voltage across the transformer, we need to compare the phase voltage. Therefore, the four primaries are side, data connection. So, data connection, live voltage and phase voltage are the same. V1 phase is 1000 volt. But for the, this transformer, secondary is a star connection. So, the live voltage is 405 volt, phase voltage is a 415 divided by root 3. So, that will be 1000 ratio 240. And therefore, ratio is a 1000 divided by 240. So 4.17. 4.17 to 1. Because of the when we uh, compare the transformer, you cannot uh, all must be the phase body. V1 ratio V2, V1 must be phase body, V2 must be phase body. So that this transformer, primary data connection. So the line and phase voltage are the same for the delta. Therefore, the V1 phase voltage is 1000 volt. But for the secondary side, secondary connected is star. So the for the star, line voltage, uh, phase voltage is line voltage divided by root 3. Therefore, 415 divided by root 3. So the 1000 ratio, uh, 415 divided by root 3 is 240. So 1000 ratio 240, we got the 4 by 1, 7 to 1. This is the way we make the comparison. The next one, three feet, 11 kV, select four five volt, star star, transformer supply the low quantity of the three data connected healing elements. So there will be the transformer here, primary widening. So 11 kV, and secondary widening, star star connection. This one is connected to the delta connected load. Hidden elements are connected in delta. So in this case, primary line voltage is 411 kV. Secondary line voltage is 450 mV. We connect like this. And secondary line current is 173 MVR. This secondary line current I2L is equal to 173 73 MVR. So we have to uh, calculate the transformation ratio. The transformation ratio need to calculate A equal to the uh, V1 phase divided by V2 phase. 
So V1 is 11 divided by 11 K divided by root 3. So 11 K be 11 multiplied 10,000. Uh, second is uh, 415 divided by root 3. So 11000 divided by 415. That will be the 11000 divided by 415. So 26 by 5 percent to 1. So this is the transformation ratio we calculated. And low phase current can cause hookah. So low line current is 170. So the low phase current, I low phase. So I low line divided by root 3. So the line is 173 divided by root 3. So we got the thing is 100 MPR. I low phase current is 173 MPR. And also the low phase. V low phase is equal to uh, line and uh, this is a 415 at the same because of delta connection. Also 415 more. Because of the delta connection, line voltage and phase voltage are equal. We also need to calculate transformer by the line current. So uh, in this case, uh, we can calculate. And so the equation is a V1 by V2 equal to I2 by I1. So V1 order is a 11,000. V2 is a 415. I2 173. We need to calculate I1. So I1 has to calculate 173 multiplied by 415 divided by 11,000. So this is the way we calculate it. 173 multiplied by 415 divided by 11,000. So you got 6 by 5 for 2 MBR. So this is the way we calculate the transformer. Then we are now connecting the transformer in parallel. Transformer parallel operation. So they are transformer TRA and TRV. Two transformers are connected in parallel. Transformer resistance is ZA, this is the ZB. Total low is a total KWT. So that in this case, we can calculate KWA equal to KWT multiply ZB by ZA plus ZB. And Similarly, KWP equal to KWT multiply ZA by ZA plus ZB. So when we are connected to a transformer in parallel, it will share the load like this. So then we have to calculate this problem. Two transformer equal rating. Equal rating means that when you want to trans uh, parallel the transformer, important one is Important one is their voltage must be equal, power rating must be equal, but the percentage MBN can be checked or done. So the two transformer, so this is TRA and TRB. They are operating and providing the load 3 MBA. So this is the way. And transformer A. Transformer A got the percentage MBR of 5%. Z A equal to 5. Transformer B, percentage MBR is 0.5%. So we have to calculate how much the will be shared by the between the two transformers. So firstly, we calculate that uh, KWA or power A, no? So we calculate that this is a two days a three divided by Z B Z A plus Z B. So this is a two day. Case you two day. So that this is three multiply Z B A four by five divided by the five plus four by five. So that will be the three multiply four by five divided by nine by five. So this is 1 by 4 to MVA. 
and also the KWAB. So the 3 multiply 5 divided by 5 plus 4 by 5. So 15 divided by 9.5. So you got 1 by 5, 7. And 1 by 5, 8. And V. So this is the way transfer our way we share in the load. The next one will be the, the last one with the instrument transformer and auto transformer. Auto transformer connected like this. This is a straight down auto transformer. So this is V1, this is V2. So straight down here, this is I1 here, I2 here. This one will be the I2 minus I1. Here I step up. Set I like this. So this is I1, this is V1. So this is V2, this is I2. So then with this color will be there. I2 minus I1 minus I2. So this is a wave color will be flowing. Step and step down. And down the two can also be calculated. And one by A2 equal to uh, V1 by V2 equal to I2 by I1. Both are, we can calculate the ratio. Okay, so that based on here, we saw the one problem. Auto transformer, you need to step down at 300 volt to uh, 200 volt. So the complete one equals to 300 times secondary current by the MBR. We need to calculate the secondary number of time, primary current, and the current in common winding. So this is what the transformer here. Primary voltage is 300 volt. Secondary voltage is 200 volt. This is V1 300 volt, V2 200 volt. So primary number of time, A1, 600. We need to calculate N2. So we write down the equation V1 by V2 equal to N1 by N2. So here V1 is 300, V2 200. N1 is 600, we need to calculate N2. So N2 can be calculated. 600 multiplied by 200 divided by 300, so you got the 400 times. That's what second divided by got the uh, 400 times. And we also need to calculate the primary current. So this is I2 value is given. I2 is 30 MBR. Here is I1. Need to be calculated. So we write down the equation N1 by N2 equal to I2 by I1 equal to V1 by V2. So the equation. So therefore, the, we can find out the here. This one here we got. So the I2 is 30. We don't know the I1. V1 is 300. V2 is 200. Then we can calculate. So I1 equal to 30 multiplied by 200 divided by 300. So that will be the 20 MBR. So I1 is a 20 MBR. So that common wine current will become the I2 minus I1. So 30 minus 20, you got that 10 MBR. This is the way we calculate it. The next program, auto transformer, you should step up from 200 volt to 250 volt. So this is the step transformer. V1 is 200 volt. V2 
V2 is 254. Primary time, 400 time. And one equal to 400. Second car is 20 MBA. I do 20 MBA. So that we need to calculate what will be the second return. So we write down the equation. V1 by V2 equal to N1 by N2. So V1 is primary voltage is 200. Secondary voltage is 250. N1 is 400. We need to calculate N2. So N2 can be calculated. Then we be there. 400 multiplied by 250 divided by 200. So number of times will be 500 times. And primary current need to be calculated in this case uh, equation N1 by N2 equal to uh, I2 by I1 equal to V1 by V2. So then here I2 is 20 MBR, I1 unknown. V1 200, V2 250. Then we can calculate I1. So 20 multiplied by 250 divided by 200. So that will be the 25 MBR. I1 is 25 MBR. Current and common portion. So this is the 20 MBR here. I1 coming is a 25. So common portion is a this current. So this is the I1 minus I2. Common portion is 25 minus 20, so you got the 5 MBR. The 5 MBR current will be flowing in the common portion. And another one is uh, we call the, this problem here. Current transformer. CT. So this is a CT. So 500 ratio 5 MBR. This is uh, when the primary is a uh, 500 MBR flowing. Secondary current is a 5 MBR. This is a full load. When the primary 450, how much? So the five, when the primary 500 MBR, secondary 5 MBR. 450, how much? So this is 5 multiplied by 450 divided by 500. So you got that thing is 4 by 5 MBR. This is the way we calculate the secondary current of the auto transformer. So those are the some of the uh, problem. You know, they are very similar. So you can take the practice. I have to uh, provide you the another information.